Hey, what's up guys? So we're going to talk a little bit about block inline and inline block elements. I know we've briefly touched on this throughout the course so far because we can't avoid using block inline, uh, block and inline elements. We've talked about that a little bit, but I'm going to explain just, just a little bit more in an official video uh, what these guys are all about. So block and inline elements, the majority of HTML elements are defined as block level elements or inline elements. So a block level element takes up a whole line in the browser from edge to edge within its container and includes a line break after the element. So if you were to stack block level elements in HTML, they would literally stack on top of each other, taking up an entire line with a line break after each of them. So they would be uh, vertically stacked. Some examples of block level elements would be level one heading, paragraph tag, unordered lists, tables, so on and so forth. Inline elements do not take up a whole line, have no line break, and are only as wide as the content within the element. So if you were to have three inline elements, they would they would um, stack side by side. They would line up on the same line until they ran out of space within the container. And some examples of inline elements would be the A tag, image, span tag, small tag, so on and so forth. Inline block elements are a hybrid between inline and block elements. Funny, funny enough. Like an inline element, the box is only as wide as the content. But like a block element, the element sits on its own line. So all other elements appear below the, the element. So if you were to have multiple inline block elements, they would show up like this visual interpretation. They would be only as wide as the content, but they would stack on top of each other like block elements. And to define an inline block element within CSS, you simply just have to say display inline block. And that's really it about uh, block inline and inline block elements. We will be touching on this more as we go through the course when we use it in practice uh, rather than just in theory. And so I will see you in the next lecture.